Awakened devil fruits have been around since the Impel Down arc. But as of last year's, you know, big reveal with Paramecia types being able to awaken with Da Flamingo, and technically this year in the anime doing the same, finally, we look back more into it overall as a, you know, unspecified process. So we know Paramecias can do it, and we know Zones can do it. We don't know anything about low guys, and I'm not going to touch that today. In fact, I only mention Paramecias because Doflamingo is what brought it back into view more recently. I mean, many people might have thought of it, you know, after it was mentioned in Impel Down. But overall, it was more just touch and go. But I've been thinking about it more recently. I even, thanks to the Natsu versus Ace, you know, debacle, I was rereading chapters that had Ace in it. That being said, I'll do I'll do a video on what I think of the Natsu versus Ace thing, you know, another time, maybe next week or the week after. I don't care. But first, I'm just saying I went back, I reread, starting with the Impel Down arc, and. I got to thinking back when Crocodile mentioned the Awakenings. I'm like, huh. For some reason, looking at these things, I've realized something. And I'm not the only one who realized this. Apparently, a YouTuber named One World HD also realized this. And on orojackson.com, there is actually an article started by Monkey D Theories in May 17, 2015. I'll put the link to this you know, down below in the description. But it basically goes on One World HD's claim of how Chopper might be awakened. I haven't looked at One World HD's video, but I have looked at this, uh, you know, article based off of it. And I too came to conclusions that, you know, Chopper might be, or at least in some ways, awakened. But in the uh, article, they go on to say that it's not his Awakened. But you guys can read that for yourselves if you haven't already. Basically, he re-examined it, as well as the Impel Down Zones, which I also did. And he came to a better conclusion that's only part of his Awakening. Now, while I don't agree with his overall, you know, thesis of how he thinks that there are many different types of Awakenings in Zone, I will at the very least say that I do agree with the fact that he brought up. The Awakened Zones and Impel Down, all four of them from pre-time skip, and probably the fifth post-time skip, uh, all of them are humans that use the Devil Fruits. I mean, it was never explicitly stated, but it was stated that they were not the animals they were given. And looking at an anime picture that they, you know, put in the article, I realize now that their midriffs were not transformed. Oh, man, we gotta, gotta start the battle. Uh, yeah. But that being said, it wasn't really... How do I put it? I just really not play and talk at the same time. Messes up my flow. Yeah, it really messes up my flow. Fuck that. Basically, they're humans. Chopper is not. Which is, you know, he ate the human human fruit. He was a reindeer. He is a reindeer. And it's not like he's a mink either. He's a reindeer. Reindeer with a blue nose. So, honestly, you know, his awakening will be a little bit different. And while, you know, his monster point today looks normal, except for that little teased moment when he awakened for the first time in the time after the time skip, it honestly felt increasingly similar. Although he always got knocked down and he didn't really, you know, get back up. But when he first transformed, he at the very least was thrown into water. And then, you know, picked back up. So that's how they got rid of it the first time. And the second time, you know, Kuma just sent him away. And we don't have any fucking clue on how he transformed back. So it gives a sense of reason that it might be different. But at the same time, not only him being a reindeer, or the fact that that barely resembled human at all, or even reindeer, 
His awa his monster point may or may not be an awakening arc. Maybe it is. It's how it was achieved. I mean, obviously these guys probably didn't achieve theirs normally either, considering that they are literally mindless slaves of that saddest bitch. But at least when we see other awakenings in like Paramecia type, you know, Da Flamingo, it seems more natural. It seems as if he is he's a, using it as an awakened form of will. Because it's not like he awakened mid battle. He just decided to use the awakened part of the fruit. He is very knowledgeable in his fruit, which, you know. He, he, he's not flamingo. He's always a high step above everyone else previously. So, with that being said, you know, choppers might be different, similar to how da flamingos is different from theirs, just because, you know, he's a reindeer, and the reason he, you know, found monster form is because he used the rumble ball. But, but, listen, listen, listen. It could still be his awakening, but it might not be as powerful or might be a little bit different because of one reason. You know what that reason would be, for at least me? The rumble ball, if I remember correctly, it fluctuates the, uh, what was it? The, the waves of the devil fruit. You know, I'm just going to pull up rumble ball on the wiki because just to, you know, be proficient in what I'm doing. No, not Rumble Box. Rumble... Rumble Ball? Yeah, Rumble Ball. I, I, actually, I can't really... What the hell am I... Uh, yes, Rumble Ball. It's like a yellow jawbreaker, but... Basically, the Rumble Ball, when eaten, gives zone-type devil fruits... Goddamn. Gives zone-type devil fruit users additional and transformations for three minutes by distorting the wavelengths of transformation. So that being said, once he was, you know, after the time skip, all the other forms other than Monster Point, he managed to get to normally just by learning how to fluctuate, you know, his Devil Fruit, the wavelengths of his Devil Fruit. That might be how Awakening is fully achieved. That might actually be. Except he, you know, you know stumbled upon it, you know, through the rumble ball by accident. Rather than, you know, whatever training others do. Of course, I like I said, the mindless slaves in Impel Down are literally just mindless slaves. And were probably forced to transform. They're a lot different than others. Not just from their awakening, but the fact that we have never seen their, you know, human side. Ever. So, they can only be taken into account as how awakened zones may look at the very best. I mean, we're probably not going to see any others, and if we do, hopefully we do, because remember, we're getting into the Beast Pirates. I mean, after Whole Cake Island at this point, but, you know, maybe we'll see an Awakened Zone or two here. It'd be really nice to see X Drake Awakened, but I'm getting off tangent. The Rumble Ball is basically Chopper's, you know, cheat code for, you know, achieving Awakened. So that is my more or less theory on the rumble, on a awakening zone, you know, connecting to Chopper. Because similar to how Da Flamingo, the only, I mean, even though he's Paramecia versus Zone, at least unlike the ones that we have very little information about, we know that he was using the regular forms of the Ito Ito no Mi at the start of the Dress Rose arc, and only during the end of it did he finally start using its awakened techniques. In other words, he could control the wavelength of the strength of his techniques and their nature. So, given that Chopper needs this rumble ball to do so, and that's what its effect is, that is more or less his awakening. I mean, not the other forms. The uh, article basically said something about the other forms have something to do with awakening. But I didn't agree with it. I tossed half of that out of my mind. I'm not going to reread it because that will just make this video way too damn long. You know? I apologize for pausing the gameplay, but I feel more clear-headed when I'm not focusing on playing around in the game. 
when I'm trying to say something as serious as a theory. As you might be able to tell in my last two theories if you haven't already watched them. That being said, this is basically the end point of what I wanted to say. Chopper is more or less awakened, but maybe once he be able, you know, once he's finally able to do Monster Point without the Rumble Ball, that might be his true awakening. Whether it looks different or not, who knows? Who cares? We may see it, we may not. Because honestly, I never thought he'd be able to do the others without the Rumble Ball in the first place. So, we'll see. If he's managed to figure out that much, he's probably not too far off from figuring it out. Plus, with Luffy's Gear 4, we can see that they can still grow at certain points, even though he technically, you know, thought of that during the time skip. Because obviously, Chopper being as smart as he is to create the Rumble Ball would obviously have thought of that too. And while he does have the limits to using Monster Point, he still has it in his arsenal. It's there. He can use it. No problem. Except for the few minutes that he can't move afterwards. So. That's my two cents on Awakened Zones, Awakened Devil Fruits, and Chopper in the middle of all that shit. Alright? Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe down below. And please, please check out my boy Skeptile227. Me and him did a collaboration just the other week. So, you guys check that out. I'll put that link in the description below as well, or in an annotation earlier on in the video. So just check out, like, subscribe, you guys know the rest. Put comments down on what you think about my, you know, two-bit theory. And please check out, you know, the, uh, the article that I've been, you know, using for my little thesis. And also check out One World HDs. I'm probably going to sooner than later once I get some more spare time. So, you guys do that. This is Black Knight 94 signing out. Here we go. Awaken technique, bitch. Yeah.